In this lesson, we're going to learn how to set up a linear equation to solve a real-world application problem. So let's get to number one. So number one, you're told that your cell phone company charges $20 a month plus 14 cents per minute. If your monthly bill is $37.64, how many minutes did you use? Okay, so to begin this, Let's go ahead and set up a linear equation, and then we're going to use this linear equation to determine how many minutes was used for um, this monthly bill of $37.64. Okay, so let's go ahead and let C uh, equal the um, amount of the charges. So we're going to call C the charges, how much it's going to cost us. And so we're going to let... Um, m be the number of minutes and so m will equal the number of minutes all right so since that's what you're trying to find we're going to let m be the number of minutes all right now with regards to the relationship between charges and our cost and minutes here's how we're going to set this up so notice that we have a fixed we have a fixed cost of twenty dollars a month Okay, and the cost per minute is 14 cents. Now, when we write this, you have to make sure, see how this is in cents? You gotta convert this back to dollars because this is in dollars. So your units must correspond. So when we write this, we're gonna say the cost will equal 14 cents, which as in, in, um, in terms of dollars is 0 0.04, so 4 cents, that's what, I'm sorry, 14 cents, so be 0.14, so 0.14, so 14 cents per minute, so for each minute, I'm being charged 14 cents, okay, plus, plus the monthly um, uh, cost of $20, so that fixed cost is $20, and so there's your equation, all right, so C is, is how much it's going to cost me this month to use so many minutes, so many minutes at 14 cents each and a monthly um, fixed cost of $20. Okay, so that's our equation. So this is going to be our linear equation. All right, now we're going to use this information here to help us find how many minutes we use. So if, if we uh, if our charges is $37.64, how many minutes did we use? All right, so we're going to let C equal $37.64. So 37.64 equals 0.14 times M plus 20. And then it's just a matter of now solving this linear equation for M. So let's go ahead and subtract 20 from both sides. And so I get 17.64 equals 0.14 m to get m by itself we're going to divide both sides by 1400 so 0.14 and so when I do this I get m so using a calculator 17.64 divided by 0.14 17.64 divided by 0.14 equals 126 all right so what that means is remember what we what we let m equal m was the number of minutes so if my monthly bill is $37.64, that means I used 126 minutes. So um, I, used, I used 126 minutes um, for the month. Okay? All right, so that was number one. All right, let's look at number two. And number two, you're considering a certain telephone company. They charge 20, uh, now notice how this looks compared to this one. So this one was written as, for, as cents, right? And this is written in terms of dollars. So remember, this is 22, this is actually 22 cents, okay? 22 cents, although it's written in terms of dollars. Um, but these two, see this is in cents, this is in dollars, okay? And notice that the monthly cost of $80, so the units match up here. So the units match up. The units did not match up here. This is in cents. This is in dollars. So you had to convert 14 cents to dollars. All right. Okay. All right. So um, just like we did in the previous problem, where it says if um, 
If M represents the number of minutes you talk in a month and C is the total monthly charges, write an equation that represents the relationship between M and C. And so it's just like this one right here. So this is our linear equation. That's all they want. They don't want anything else. They just want to know what is this equation. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So, so M, we're going to let M and they're using capital M here. So you're going to let M equal the number of minutes. Okay? And C is going to be the uh, monthly charge. Monthly charges. Okay. So the relationship is this. So the monthly charge is going to depend on how many minutes I use times 22 cents per minute plus the fixed monthly uh, fee of eighty dollars, so it'll be um, 0.22 or 0 0.22 times m plus eighty, and that's it. That's all you do. That's all they wanted. They didn't want anything else. Okay. All right. So that's number two. All right. Let's look at number three. All right. In number three, we have this for number three. We have. For a summer job, Doug decides to sell magazine subscriptions. He will be paid $25 a day plus $2 for each subscription he sells. He works for 27 days and he makes $795. So how many subscriptions did he sell? First of all, we, we want to we wanna set up an equation. We want to set up a linear equation just like we did in number one. All right, so let's think about this. So let's go ahead and let... Um, uh, so let's see. So um, he works for 27 days and makes $795. So let's go ahead and let P be uh, the amount paid. Okay, the amount he's paid. All right. And let's go ahead and let N equal the number of subscriptions. Okay, so how many subscriptions he sells? So we'll let N equal the number of subscriptions and P is how much he's paid. All right, so the relationship between P and N based on this is this. So he's paid, he's paid $25 a day plus $2, $2 for each subscription. So remember the number of subscriptions. So if you see the number of subscriptions here, for each of these, he's being paid $2. So it'll be 2 times N plus $25 for each day, right? Okay, but notice we know the number of days. How many days did he work? 27 days. So I can write this a little bit better. So it'll be P equals 2N plus 25 times 27. So P equals 2 times N. Remember what this means, the number of subscriptions and each of those subscriptions is $2. Plus, and then um, remember he gets paid $25 a day for 27 days. That's what this is. $25 a day for 27 days, so that becomes um, $675. All right, so that's our linear equation. So that's going to be our equation. That is the relationship between P and N, how much he's paid based on the number of subscriptions he sells. Okay, now they want to know this, though. If he makes $795, how many subscriptions did he sell? So in this case, we're going to let P equal $795. So 795 equals 2N plus 675. And all we have to do is solve for N, and we have the number of subscriptions he sold. So let's go ahead and subtract 675 from both sides. And when I do that, I get 795 minus 675 equals 120 equals 2N. And so divide both sides by 2. I get the number of subscriptions is going to be 60. All right, so he sold, um, Doug sold 60 subscriptions, subscriptions. All right, so that's number three. Okay, number four. Number four, you're told that the operating cost for a local business per year are a fixed amount of $18,000 and 3500 per day. And so in part A, in part A, you want to find the you want to find C, 
which represents the operating cost for the company, which depend on the number of days open. All right, so um, same as same idea as we did before. So the relationship between C and X. So C is the cost, X is the number of days. So our cost will equal thirty-five hundred dollars per day. And remember that the the per day here is going to be X, the number of days. So thirty-five hundred times X plus our fixed cost, which is eighteen hundred dollars, uh, eighteen thousand dollars. All right, so that's part A. So the relationship between cost and number of days. Part B says this, if the business accrues $998,000 in operating cost, how many days does the business operate during the year? So, so in this case, in Part B, you're told what C is and you want to find X. So if C is $998,000, um, how many days was the company operating during the year? So we just solve for x. So there's our linear equation. We're going to solve for x. So let's go ahead and subtract 18,000 from both sides. And when I do that, so nine, <clears throat> 998,000 minus 18,000, that should be 980,000 equal. And then that's zero here. So we left with 3,500x. And then divide both sides by 3,500 using your calculator. I get X to be so nine hundred eighty thousand dollars divided by thirty five hundred so I get two hundred eighty so two hundred eighty is the number of days so um, the company the company was open for uh, two hundred eighty days all right so that's number four Okay, now let's look at number five. So in number five, we have this for number five. So number five, there are um, two cell phone companies that offer different packages. Company A charges a monthly service fee of $34 plus five cents per minute of talk time. Company B charges a monthly service fee of $40 plus four cents per minute of talk time. And so in part A, you want to write a linear equation that models the packages offered by both companies. All right, so, so uh, let's go ahead and do company A first. So company A will charge, company A charges um, 0 0.05 cents per minute. So 0 0.05 cents per minute. Uh, cents per minute per 0 0.05 times m plus $34, right? Company B charges a service of $40 plus 4 cents per minute, so that's 0 0.04 times m plus 40. All right, so that is, that is um, the uh, equations for both companies, okay? Now, so just to know that, that A here is going to stand for the uh, charges from company A is based on this, and the charges from company B is based on this, okay? All right, part B. If the average number of minutes used each month is 1,160, which company offers the better plan? All right, so to do that, you're going to substitute 1,160 into M, because that's what that represents. All right, so let's look at how we're going to do this. So company... Let's talk about company A to begin with. So company A will charge, so we're finding out how much company A is going to cost us. So it'll be 0 0.05 times M, and M here is 1,160 plus 34. And so using our calculator, um, 0 .05, 0 0.05 times 1,160 is 58, so I get 58 plus 34 which equals 92, right? So company A will, will uh, cost us $92 for this number of minutes. For company B, company B, which is this right here, so it'll be 0 0.04 times 1,160 
plus 40. All right, so using our calculator, 0 0.04, 0 0.04 times 1,160 equals $46.40. So 46.40 plus 40, which is $86.40. Okay? So company B, for this number of minutes, company B will cost us this amount. So based on these two amounts, which company offers the better plan? So as you can see, company B offers the better plan for these number of minutes. All right, so, so you're going to say something like this. You're going to say company B offers lower monthly cost, something like this, of $86.40 compared, compared with $92 monthly cost for company a. Now remember, for company A, that and that's that's when that's when the number of minutes uses 1,060. Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, when the average, when the average number of minutes used each month. is 1,160 minutes, okay? All right, so that's what you're going to say for part B. All right, let's look at letter C then. Let's look at part C. So in part C, this time they're asking, all right, so it's kind of like part B. So this time it says, if the average number of minutes used each month is 420, which company offers a better plan? So it's the same thing. We're going to do the same thing. And we can look at the cost. All right, so um, this is going to be, so let's do company A. Company A. So company A, that's going to cost 0 0.05 times 420 plus 34. So 0.05 times 420. 0 0.05 times 420 is $21. So 21 plus 34 will give us, what's that, uh, $55. So for company A, if I had company A for this number of minutes, I would have to pay this amount. Company B, that will be four cents a minute, and um, I used 420 minutes, plus the fixed cost, and I think the fixed cost was $40. So using our calculator, four cents a minute times 420, so 0.04 times 420. That's going to be 16.80 plus 40, so that gives us uh, 56.80, right? So for company B, I will have to pay 56.80 for these number of minutes. So, which company offers a better plan at 420 minutes? Well, if company um, A. So you can do this, you're going to say the same thing you did with the previous one. So we're going to say something like this: if if the average average number of minutes used each month is 420 then company A offers a lower not by much, right, but offers a lower monthly cost of $55 compared, compared to company B's monthly cost of $56.80. All right, now let's look at D. So D says this, how many minutes of talk time would yield equal monthly statements from both companies? All right, so what, what they're asking is, how many minutes would the cost, so the question is this, let me go back to the original. 
So in how many minutes, how many minutes would both plans cost the same? That's what it's asking. So basically all you do is you set both both plans equal to each other. So you're going to say, you're going to say um, 0.05m plus 34 equals 0.04m plus 40. And so uh, solving for m, you're going to then find out how many minutes will the cost of both plans be the same. All right. So let's go ahead and subtract 0.04m from both sides. And when I do that, I get 0.01m plus 34 equals 40. Subtracting 34 from both sides, I get 0.01m equals, and then 40 minus 34 is 6. Divide both sides by 0.01, and then, oops, and if you need to, use your calculator. And so when you do that, um, you're going to get 600. So m equals 600. Now remember, m is the number of minutes. So what you found is that is that when the average when the average number of minutes used is 600, the costs of both plans are equal. So when the number of minutes used is 600 per month, the cost of both plans are the same. Okay? Alright, and then let's look at number 6. So let's see what number 6 is. So number 6, it costs a company $4.50 per unit to produce a part used for a computer. The company has monthly operating expenses of $380 for utilities and $5,200 for salaries. And then they want you to write a linear equation to model the company's monthly expenses. And it, it, and it goes on to say in the form y equals mx plus b. So uh, what I want you to remember is that soap in yourself form. But what you didn't remember though is that is that if you look at at all the others we've done, that was basically in that form. So C equals mx plus b. So y equals mx plus b. So so all these problems is already in that form. So so C C equals this if you were to graph this, that would be your slope right here, and that would be your y-intercept. So y equals m x plus b. All right. So so basically, in all these problems we've done, we've written it in that form. So there's nothing new, but just be aware that that you could be asked this extra statement here. So don't let this throw you off. All right. So you've you've been in all the previous problems, you have been using this idea, getting the uh, a variable by itself. So when you get that variable by itself, you've actually written it in slope intercept form. It's just it's just the different letters. Instead of y equals mx plus b in this in, over here, you then have c equals um, the the slope times m plus b plus plus this y intercept. Okay? <clears throat> Alright, um, so Let's go ahead and we're going to use some uh, different letters here, just like we did in the, in the previous one. So it says this, if it, it costs a company $4.50 per unit to produce a part used for a computer, and then a company company has monthly operating expenses of $380 and, and $5,200. Uh, $5, so this amount here are fixed. So those are fixed. And so when you think about this, so if C represents the cost, cost, okay, and um, U represents the units, so it's the number of units. So let's go ahead and U equal the number of units. Then we could write it this way. We could say the cost equals um, four dollars and fifty cents for each unit. So four point five zero times U, right? Plus the fixed cost. Now be careful. The fixed cost. There are two of them. There's there's um, there's the fixed cost of three hundred eighty and 5200 for salaries. So 380 for utilities, 5200 for salaries. And so when you add this up, when you add 380 plus 5200, you get 5580. So you're going to say 5580.
580. And that's it. There, they didn't want you to do anything else. That's all they wanted you to do. You wrote this equation and it's in this form. Y equals mx plus b. Okay? All right, so that is, that is our lesson on setting up a linear equation to solve a real-world application.